it can be difficult to know what kind of coat a golden doodle puppy will end up having. So I asked the experts for the tricks that they use to try and figure out what kind of coat your golden doodle puppy will have. So let's have a super quick summary of the three different types of golden doodle coat. Wavy, curly, and straight. All three of these coats have different degrees of curliness and it's the genetics inherited from the dog's parents that will decide which coat your puppy ends up with. Wavy coats are the most common type of coat for golden doodles. They're also known as a fleece coat. A wavy coat will grow 10 to 18 centimeters or four to seven inches if you never cut it. For the wavy coat, the hair is typically shorter around the face and wavy coats are both low allergy and can be low to no shedding. Curly golden doodle coats are the most like a poodle. Curly coats can still look like a teddy bear with shorter hair around the face. Curly coats will eventually stop growing if you leave them alone, but it can be difficult to tell exactly how long the hair is because it's in a tight curl. Some curly coated golden doodles end up with a big afro style haircut. Curls can be anywhere from a loose barrel curl to a super tight dense curl called a kinky curl. A straight coat golden doodle is also called a loose coat golden doodle. This type of coat is super low maintenance, but it's called a loose coat because the hairs typically do shed. This type of golden doodle is the one that's most likely to cause trouble for allergy sufferers. All right, how can you predict what kind of coat your golden doodle puppy will have? Well, there's two different tricks. The first trick is pretty simple. Let's just say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and the coat doesn't curl far from the parent. Look to the parents of your dog. The coat type for golden doodles often mimics the appearance of the parents. So if they're both straight coats, you're gonna get a straight coat. If they both have a curly coat, you're gonna get curly or perhaps wavy. If one's straight and one's curly, that gets tricky. The second breeder trick is the interesting one though, and it requires you to have a very close look at your puppy's nose. So to check the snout, the hair that grows around a golden doodle puppy's nose is one of the very few ways that you can get an early indication of what coat type the dog's gonna have. Breeders say that a mustache only appearance of the furnishings, which is the hair that grows around the mouth, indicates probably a curly coat. Whereas if you have a mustache and a beard-like appearance, then you're more likely to end up with a wavy coat golden doodle. Straight coats tend to have a very clean snout with almost no furnishings. It pretty much looks like a golden retriever. Nature and genetics will have the final say. These coat predict methods do give a pretty good indication of what kind of coat your golden doodle may have but when it comes to future coat type there could always be surprises come check out our channel for more poodle cross dog videos and check out our special burner doodle 101 10 puppy facts video to learn all about the amazing burner doodle breed